Hello, hello everyone. We are back in Kampala city. This is the pedestrian walk of the brand new flyover project that has been opened recently. I'm super, super excited guys and super pumped. <laughs> I had to come and try out this myself. This is the pedestrian walk. No more hustle down there. Eh? No more squeezing for space with border border guys. Eh? So we are going to enjoy the fruits of our taxes. Eh? That's what we are going to do today. This is the former shop right building. It's called Clock Tower. This is the pedestrian walk of the flyover project. It's finally open, guys. And when you're here, you get a very good area view of the city. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, guys. I'm very excited. I'm one of those who have been waiting for this thing to open. I really couldn't wait to walk on this flyover. So that's what we are going to do today. This is the view here. When you're at the flyover, the cars are passing down and this is the pedestrian walk. So this is designated for only pedestrians. No crazy border guys, no crazy bicycle guys, and no crazy taxi guys are going to be passing here trying to knock anyone. It's just for the pedestrians. <laughs> so if you're coming from Entebbe Road and you're trying to go to Container Village, Natural Google or the old tax park, this is the first one to use. This is the first pedestrian walk that you're going to use. And you can access it from down there. You walk it around the other corner and then go all the way and exit from the other side yeah so we are going to check out both of them there is another one the other side so we are going to open all of them eh? just to tour so this has two exits uh, okay <laughs> guys there is so much security by the way <laughs> there is UPDF everywhere there is the military this is really cool there is a very nice view as well so i've come back from the other corner we are going to walk and exit from over there and then walk and check out the one the other side there is military down there and i don't want to talk to military guys right now because <laughs> i know if they see me with a camera they will start asking me questions so let's just avoid them and exit from here then go over the other side it's an exit chalk entrance so we're going to walk all the way we shall find somewhere to cross and then check out the other part of the flyover this will, this will. yeah it's evening hours so you can see businesses starting some nice healthy irish uh, guys, so I was too excited but uh, <laughs> forgot to do my intro. Welcome to this video. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Ray and I'm a content creator from Uganda. Yes, yeah, so be sure to subscribe and watch the entire vlog. Okay, we have to bend down here. Jesus. <laughs> okay, have to bend guys. There is no more traffic on this area because it has been widened. The road is wider. Ah. So we're going to enter the second part of the flyover going to enter from here there are two entrances so you see the sign posts pedestrians this way so let's climb here but then there is another route here so i don't know where that one is going or coming from we shall find out later but let's climb here guys these are many stairs eh? tired already uh, so you can actually come through here and exit 
and go back down but I want us to go around the ring or around the circle Wow I must say it's very huge actually very very huge so as the pedestrians are walking up here the cars are just passing down there see that <laughs> it also looks like a nice place to just come and stand and watch Kampala traffic yeah, so let's keep walking so this is an exit for Wanji? Eh, Bambi, Eh? Wherever. Yeah. Ah, but guys. So this Hajj is telling me he's a voice artist, but his voice can barely be heard. Maybe he was a voice artist when he was younger. So we have these beautiful flower pots inside the flyover. I think they are yet to put and planting flowers but you see there are some nice flower pots in here where well, they are going to put some flowers so actually this whole big circle we were the other side earlier where you see the sun in the background so there is different entrances and different exits so you can enter from one point and exit from another. How are you? I'm okay, how are you? <laughs> uh, so this round huge ring that you see it has different entry and exit points. Eh? So at any point you can enter, at any point you can exit. Because we were at the extreme end where you see like the clock tower we entered from. Actually we entered from around there, walked all around but there is different points where you can exit and then there is another exit point there where those people are coming from entry stroke exit entry stroke exit so it's like both of them so this is an entry stroke exit point so if someone is coming from the city center they will enter in from here or if they are going to the city center they will exit from here then if someone is going to Zambia over there where you see arena mall they'll, ex they'll exit from here and continue all the way down look at this view here <laughs> what do you think guys leave a comment standing on this flyover for almost an hour now on the pedestrian walk it's almost one hour since I've been here and I must say from my own observation that the traffic problem on this particular area has been solved this is clock tower downtown Kampala I genuinely think the traffic problem just like you guys have seen from those time lapses it has been solved here greatly Though I think we need some traffic lights because the, tra the traffic is controlling itself but I think if there were lights, the green, the red, you know it could be a lot lot better but for the most part, yeah I don't think there will be traffic again here on this particular <laughs> clock tower this had the worst traffic around Kampala because that route comes from Entebbe Road there and Entebbe Road, this one comes from Zambia like the traffic here is always crazy because this leads into the city center and then also goes out of the city center to different areas of Kampala but this flyover project has really solved this problem like look at the cars the flow is easy now we just need traffic lights you know the space is wide like it's really really huge 
this is a very wide angle but I can't even cover how wide this space is like right here in the center it's very very huge you know so well done I think UNRWA Uganda National Roads Authority is the one in charge of roads around the country so yeah this is good well done let's give them a shout out eh? it's also nice that someone can actually just stand here and take in the view of the city I feel like Kampala City Tour Guides you guys should add this on your list of things to do around Kampala you can just come here and observe this crazy traffic the way it flows <laughs> very very interesting we are just missing lights now yeah so with that said uh, check out my Uganda travel guide if you want to okay that was weird <laughs> Yeah, check out my Uganda travel guide if you're coming to Kampala, it will help you out. I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you want tour services in Kampala, visa processing services in Kampala, if you want to travel around Kampala or around Uganda, to book local trips within Uganda, reach out to White Travel Deals. They are on Buganda Road, they'll help you out. Yeah, so uh, please leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. This was a very fun video to make. I'm really, really excited. I think it's really good. See Kampala changing. So leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment. And be sure to subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.